<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. Back today with issue 76 of the Hachette Park Works release of Titanic, the ship, the legend. So, what's in today's magazine? Well, the two lives of the RMS Majestic. You can see a picture over there looking very nice. Uh, apparently it was remodelled in 1903 uh, because it had become dated since its first incarnation. And there are some migrants. Migrants on boats, how topical. Um, but yeah, that's a, an artist's impression. Oh, but that's clearly different because there's women and children in that one. Anyway, and there we have there. One of the menus, I believe it is. Yes, it is indeed one of the menus from the Majestic. And that's everything. <laughs> We're then straight on to the instructions. Um, quite a bit to do, but again, you won't see most of it because a lot of it's just glowing in windows. <laughs> um, but yeah, without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so in today's box we have a slightly different LED strip. This one has a plug attached to it. We have brown envelope number one, brown envelope number two, big bag of AP screws, and neatly wrapped in tissue paper, we have the first class smoking room, or the superstructure thereof. Mm, bits of it I'm not very happy with, for example, windows there. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that's how the doors looked, but again, I don't think there's a lot we can do about it. Uh, however, I will, as usual, drill the portholes out in those two doors there. So that's that in the larger of the two brown envelopes we have, if I can get it open, there we go, it's a rip for being annoying, <laughs> sheet o windows. So the only really small ones are those two there, the rest of them are kind of of the larger variety, so it shouldn't give us too much trouble. And in here we have, I do believe, two more support structures. So, yep, again, so I have shown this the last couple of times, again, just a small hand drill. There's the porthole, drill to porthole, fingers out the way on the other side. But a fair, fair bit of pressure, not as much, not too much needed. There we go. There we are. And the same on the other side. As I say, I haven't had time really at the moment to look at any reference material for what the entrance to the first class smoking room actually looked like. But I'm going to do in the fullness of time, uh, i.e. before we start screwing superstructures together or anything like that because there's nothing in the room. So these doorways are going to look very, very bland and uh, I, I don't like them. I'll be honest, I don't like them. So what it might be worthwhile doing is getting one of these empty sprues, for example, and gluing it in behind so you've got at least the impression of a double door being there. That's what I might do actually. Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I will have a think. But yeah, for the moment, what they're wanting us to do is take all of these windows here off. And again, 
in case this is the first time you're watching fairly easy to get them off the photo etch discs that Hachette provide just push it turn it sideways give it a little twist and it falls off but again I do advise there are no spare windows we all know my opinions on that <laughs> me it would be worth at least having a couple of, of spare windows just in case they get broken they get damaged because they don't actually tell you how to remove it from the photo etch disc and if you go in like side cutters or even a scalpel you do risk bending them and if you bend them it's going to be very difficult to get them back into shape so I would have thought it would have been worth providing a couple of spares, but not according to Hachette part works. Anyway, <laughs> so these windows go in the square holes there. There are eight of them on each side. Now, the glue I'm using at the moment, because they don't have my normal vacuum sealed stuff, is glue it comes from the range uh, hardware stores in the UK. But the main problem is, with it not being vacuum sealed, the lid tends to get stuck to the nozzle. So you end up having to squirt it out of the tube. Not the best, but they're only little tubes anyway. So again, some of these are on an angle. Oh, nearly used my drill bit there, because they do look very similar. That's what I use to apply the glue again. It is, a set, it is basically a straightened paper clip inside a hand drill. The reason I use this one is that it doesn't have the best turning action. So if you're trying to drill it out, yeah, it's not it's not nice. So I, I use that one to apply my glue. So there we go. First one is going on just here. Again, make sure the two Hopper style details are at the top when you put it in. You don't want to go around and find out you've put the windows in upside down. So like that with the screw post on the opposite side. And I'll do the next one on the straight edge because it's much easier. <laughs> Again. Pick up your window frame. As I've said before, I like to line up the bottom and then drop it in to the frame. And these, these do sit in quite nicely, just like that. So I'll get the rest of these frames put in and I'll come back to you in just a tick. Okay, so that's that side all done. Now we're just doing the same on the other side. So again, just exactly the same process, but mirrored for the other side of the smoking room. And I say exactly the same. Line the window up and push it on. Okay, so I'll do the rest of these, and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so that's them all in. Now, the next step is supposed to be moving on to the two smaller windows. But before I do that, I've made my decision. I don't like how these doors look. I think they look bland and I think they look plain. So what I've done is I have cut a small bit off of one of the old sprues. And what I'm going to do is essentially glue it to the back of the door. So it'll look like that. And at least you've got a bit of a door frame, if nothing else. I mean, that it's, it's entirely up to yourself. If you want to do that or not, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But you can see there, there are also tabs which are sticking up above the top. Now that will look bad. And there are two, there's too little tolerance to cut them off. So what I'm going to do is just get 
I duck those pliers round them and bend them over so that they ain't going to stick up above the wall because you don't want that. So there we go. You can see I've flattened the three kind of bigger extrusions there. So when I glue this on like that, you're not going to see the brown bits sticking up the other side of the wall. Now again, this is entirely my choice, my decision. So if they turn around and provide us with a part later and say, hey, this goes on the doorway for the, the first class smoking room, feel free to laugh at me. But still, at the moment, there's no indication that there's going to be any such thing. So I'm just doing what I think will look best for my model. So at the end of the day, that's what it is. It is your model. You have to be happy with it because at the end of the day, you're the one building it. You're the one that's going to have to look at it. So if you're not happy, that's your responsibility to fix it. So yeah, that's what that looks like now. It's not much of a difference, but I just think it adds a little bit more sort of depth to it rather than it just being, yeah, by the way, here's the... <laughs> There's a cut out where there's a door. So as I say, you can see I've got the other one here. If I can ever pick it back up again. And I've bent the tabs over on the top of that one as well. So again. Put a little bit of glue on the back side. Now again, I don't use too much glue. I use just enough that it will stick. So that if they do provide a part at a later date and it looks better than this little addition that I've stuck on, then I can pull these off. And there you go. That's what that's looking like. I think it looks better. I, I may have a lot of people in the comments going, Ah, oh, no, that's not what it looked like. But I just think it looks better than what they already had. Anyway. Moving on, as I say, it's these two little windows here that we're focusing on next. Now, if anything, these are the ones you're going to drop because these are the ones that are tiny and will disappear without a trace. So again, they're going on, nope, they're going on here on either side of there. Now, I don't know if that's windows, I don't know if that's vents, I have no idea what they are, I just know that you can't even see them because it's so whitewashed, but uh, I don't like it, but there's not much I can do about it. The only option there would really be is to try and either drill it out or find out what it was. I know you're not really going to see too much because of where the rest of the, the deck is, but still, uh, I don't know. It's one of the few bits so far I've looked at and gone, I really don't like. But again, that's me. To me, these big, they look like the windows we worked on last time. So what would be so hard to, I suppose they've got the screw, the screw posts on the other side. That'll be why they're not drilled out. <sighs> Which, mm, must be honest, I'm not overly happy with, but I do understand. Uh, and that window's just fallen out in my hand. Hmm. Yeah, two seconds. An extra bit of glue on it. Like that. There we are. So that's what that looks like. Hmm. Okie dokie. The next ones they want us to do are the eight round topped windows, those ones. So I'll break them off and I'll show you where they're going. So they are going 
here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nothing particularly difficult. Again, I'll put the first one in. Then I'll do the, the rest off camera. These ones do sit quite far back, the ones on the front, so don't be surprised if they indent more than the, the rest of them. But yeah, I'll put the rest of these in and I'll come back to you in just a tick. Okay, so that's them all in as well. You can see them there. And again, they look fantastic, but they always do. And finally, the last of the windows go in here and again there are eight of them now these ones are really nice look at them a little ornate I believe unless I'm mistaken these windows were stained glass could be wrong but uh, they do look very nice anyway And this is the last of this photo etch disc. So, yep, again, there are some sideways ones, which are always slightly less fun to put in, but hey ho. Not enough to not enough to be annoying, but just enough to be slightly awkward. <laughs> again, I find the easiest way line one side up and then push the rest in. Again, do this next one in here. There we go. That's in. So I'll get the rest of these in, and I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so that's what those windows look like there. They're awesome, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so that's that all done. Now what we need to do is again bring our promenade deck over. our screwdriver ready along with our massive pile of AP screws which is always includes a spare <laughs> yep, put the spare back in its bag and consign it to the graveyard of spare screws okay again lining this up again there is a point of reference there because it has to sandwich in between the staircase and the building we put on last time or the superstructure sorry that we put on last time again make sure all your pegs line up make sure all the wee deck pegs go in the holes there we go put the first screw in start to Keep it all in place. Again, the way I tend to do it is put a bit of pressure from the underside. Save you rounding the screws off or doing any damage to the pieces. Now again, you'll be able to see on your model which bits are popping up. Um, they're the ones I would put down first to make sure everything lines up properly. So yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's quite a few screws to go in round here. There we go. I'll get the rest of these put in and I'll come back to you momentarily. Okay, so that's that all attached. 
Now the next thing it wants me to do is put in the two support structures here. Again, I'm going to wait until I'm done with the underside before I do that. Speaking of which, we now have to turn the ship upside down, or at least the deck upside down. I realise it's not the entire ship. Very carefully, so nothing breaks. Eek. Oh, horrible flex in the middle. And then we're taking this board here, and it's going to go in up here, which means these wires are going to be very close to that other board. Do not like, but it'll only go so far up. So again, that clips in really, really easily. And this wire here is going to plug in to this port here, which is labelled J2. So again, let's turn this over slightly. You can see there's a ridge there. That's to tell you that it goes that way up. So this is going in here, maybe, possibly. Let's see. It's very, very difficult to get your fingers in between the screw posts, I must say. And the last thing you want to do is try and put it in squint and start bending pins. Again. Yeah, definitely was in that way. Just not all that happy about doing it. <laughs> There we go, finally. Right. That's the first one. <laughs> but now, what we need to do is remember all those spare wires. Well, yeah, we're going to be connecting all the circuit boards up again. So this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to move the deck along to show you what I'm doing. So I think there should be four of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four of them. So these ones came in previous issues. And what we're doing is the first one, they're all the same. Uh, they're all labelled Z, and they're all the same length and the same connectors. So this one is going from connector J3 here all the way around into J3 here. So again, just look at the direction the pins are going. You can tell I'm not an electrician, can't you? I think for the sake of my own patience and sanity, I may have to do these off camera and come back and show you when they're done. <laughs> um, that's that one in. And then it curves round. The way it's showing you to do it is to curve it round the back of the grand staircase and plug it in there. I think what I'm going to do is plug it in and then route the cable. <laughs> because doing it any other way and making it as easy for myself as humanly possible risks a temper tantrum. But yeah, that's that's that one in there like that. And the next one is being run from J2 on this board here. Yep, to J1 on this board here. So this one is going in here. And 
and it's going round like this. Unfortunately, there's enough play in the wires that you're not having to be overly tight with the connections, but oh, it's not a lot of fun trying to get these in. And finally, the last one goes from J3 here. I'll try and move the, the deck along a bit if I can without breaking anything. So it goes from J3 here to J3. Uh, hang on. I just I just looked at the screen there and noticed you couldn't see the slightest thing I was talking about. So this is going to make it, well it's actually not going to make the slightest bit of difference, but so yeah, it's going to go from J3, which is here, again, I'll find whichever one's going to be easiest for me to plug in. <laughs> depending on the way the wires are pointing. And then it stretches all the way around here. Now this one is tight, I've just mentioned, thankfully they're not too tight. But I think it's gonna be best to turn it around like that. It's certainly gonna make it easier to, to try and plug it in, but that is very, very stretched, that cable. And I've just said how good they were at not stretching the cables. Oh well. <laughs> That last one's been your undoing, Hachette. And there's no spare cables either. And there we go, that's that one plugged in. And the way they tell us to tuck that one... ...is around this side of the grand staircase. That's even tighter. Now I'm going to leave it where it was. Just purely for the interest of not snapping the cable. And then the final thing they want us to do is to run a plug from J2 to our test board. And this should let us see if the lights all light up. Now if they do, awesome. If they don't, I hope you're ready for a tantrum because there's likely to be one. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see all the light boards. Um, you're just going to have to take my word for it that they all work. If they do, and they do, that's that's a relief. You can see they're not very bright, but they do in fact all work. Or they did. Oh, all right, uh, there we go. So yeah, all the lights work. Fantastic. So now unplug this from J two gently. I'm going to use my tweezers to do it because the last thing you want to do is break the connector off of the board or break the wires. My tweezers felt a bit like they were being a bit harsh there so decided not to use them but yeah take that out for future usage. That's not quite as done. I need to turn it upside down, hope no windows fell off when I wasn't looking. If they did, they've not landed in my desk, so they're gone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the final part is to attach the two support structures. And again, they will only fit in one way. And again, they would benefit from a little dab of glue. Just, just enough to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere, really. So again, make sure they're sitting nice and perpendicular to the deck. You don't want them squinty. Same on the other side. 
on the other side slightly more prone to angle itself just purely because of the way the, the deck sits uh, or the, the wood for the deck sits but that is us for issue 76 so that's us for issue 76 what's coming in issue 77 the next bit of a hull so we're moving away from the deck again and going back to the hull for the next four issues and they will well, basically extend out quite a bit um, and after that we're going on to a different piece of decking for at least issue 81 and 82 i'm not sure thereafter but this is the outcome of the last few issues now i just think that looks absolutely outstanding really really does look awesome um yeah you can see as well you've got the support structures there for when the boat deck sits on top yeah just really really chuffed for that looks amazing so yep yeah, thanks as always for watching uh, any feedback comments criticisms do drop them down below do leave me a like and uh, think about subscribing to see the rest of titanic and whatever else is upcoming <laughs> thanks very much for watching guys and as always peace out